Yeah, okay, that sounds all right. Uh, this is really embarrassing. I actually collected rocks and I thought I was going to be some kind of scientist that had something to do with rocks, so I guess a geologist. Favourite movie? Um, the movie that's in my head at the moment is Frozen 2. Uh, having just taken the kids to go and see that, I've got the soundtrack has been on high repeat in our house since then. I could potentially sing parts of it for you, but you'd never forgive me for it. Um, long black with a bit of hot milk on the side. Um, so sorry to disappoint that it's not a soy latte. You can pretend it's a soy latte if you want, but that's what I like. Uh, Gogglebox, watching Gogglebox on TV, that's my guilty pleasure. We always um, grew up in my family talking about politics around the dinner table and my dad uh, trained as a social worker and one of my earliest political memories is you know, my dad shouting at the Liberals every time they come, came on TV saying don't they understand that people um, in this country do it tough and you've got to look after people and I guess I've always had that sense of social justice and making sure that everyone is looked after and politics is a place to put that into action. <laughs> my New Year's resolution was uh, to try and exercise more. Uh, the, well, actually, to keep up the exercise. It's, I'm a runner, and but my fitness regime at the moment basically involves taking the dog, having a um, strong cup of coffee, and taking the dog, Max, for a run up the creek. And it's great, and I just want to make sure that I can keep doing that as much as possible this year. The most important thing that my mum taught me is that we've only got one planet. Um, she was... I think what you might call, I guess, a practical environmentalist and uh, from, from my mum and her mum, um, I'd continually get you know, gifts from the Wilderness Society for Christmas and um, be, uh, I'd have the understanding that we've got to look after what we've got and that it's precious and you can only, most things you can only use once. And that idea, I guess, of really um, basic conversation, uh, conservation rather, is something that um, I take from my mum, and that's sort of the, the, the part of my, a big part of my politics today. Oh, Friday night go to dinner. Um, there's uh, a, an excellent curry place uh, down the road. Um, if anyone wants a recommendation for it in Racecourse Road, um, I'm, I'm happy to give you the details and pass them on. If I was stuck on a desert island, am I allowed to have electricity? I don't know. If I'm not allowed to have electricity, then um, probably a couple of books. Uh, the, um, I would want a hammock because I'm a, a, a tragic for hammocks. I reckon it's one of the best things to do on camping is string up a hammock between a couple of trees. And I don't know, maybe something to eat. That'd be nice. Oh, the bravest thing that I've ever done. Um, like in in hindsight, like it it's, um, probably seemed very easy at the time, but at the end of my um, I, I did university in Perth, and at the end of my um, uh, university in Perth, no idea what I wanted to do. Packed up everything that I owned, um, moved over to Melbourne, and just sort of started everything afresh again from here. And like it's the kind of thing that in your twenties. How you do without thinking about it and looking back at it, will I do something again like that now? I'm not sure that I would. I have a hidden talent. I've got a, a hidden mediocre talent. It's like if, if I had a sliding doors moment um, or, or some alternative career, um, I probably, probably um, would uh, be some kind of um, uh, German house DJ. Whether it's a hidden talent, you'd have to ask all the people at the house who um, roll their eyes when I bring out the decks. The moment that I'll always remember um, is the moment that the kids were born and I think there's nothing quite like that moment of skin on skin contact and holding your child for the first time. Um, it's something that's still imprinted on me. Uh, the hour in the morning, um, before everyone's got up, where the kids just get out of bed and we sit on the couch and um, cuddle and read a story and like it's just about nothing more than the relationship between you and these other little amazing human beings that you're sitting holding on your laps, that's something that I'll live for. Ah, Scott Morrison. Um, I'd love to get Scott Mo go head to head with Scott Morrison on a Q&A panel, I mean the guy goes around the country telling everyone that he's got climate change under control and don't worry, um, just leave it to him. And meanwhile, it's just clear to people that we're facing a crisis that we've never felt before. 
and he's totally asleep at the wheel and I'd love the opportunity to call him out on it. I'm most optimistic about the movements that are sweeping the planet at the moment. The people who are um, stepping up and saying refuse to just be angry and anxious, refuse to be in despair. We're going to take to the streets and we're going to demand change. And um, as someone who has seen what happens in Parliament where you can often feel like you're banging your head against the wall because you've got people who are basically on the take from big fossil fuel companies and doing their bidding and actively making the climate crisis worse, to actually then uh, to see people standing up and saying, no, we're not going to take it, we want you to do better, it fills me with enormous hope and makes me optimistic at the moment.